Hello everyone and welcome to the NNL Pro Tournament. The path to pro begins here. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese, and we are on our last semifinal of this tremendous pro tournament. It's between True Becker and Nolan LaJoy. This is a matchup of redemption. Nolan being given a second chance at this tournament due to Caleb Bergstrom, unfortunately having to drop out as we previously announced on our community section of our page. But in order to move on to the finals, he'll have to take on the extremely impressive True Becker. So will Nolan's shot at redemption be complete or will True dash all those dreams and move on to the finals instead? Well, let's quickly remind you how this works. They've each submitted a two-minute grip gauntlet. The floor is lava. You know how that works. And it is up to you to decide who's moving on based on creativity, difficulty, variety, and wow factor. And now, let's meet our two athletes, Nolan LaJoy and True Becker. True Becker is a former teen world champion, having won in 2019 in Hartford, and he followed it up with a sixth-place finish in Greensboro last year. So far in Season 6, he is the leader in the clubhouse, as he currently sits atop the national standings. It's not just by volume, either. He's won 12 competitions so far this season as a 16-year-old against some extremely tough New England fields. Nolan LaJoy is among the few athletes that can call themselves a world champion, bursting onto the scene at the 2019 championship in Hartford in the young adult division. But he's had a stellar elite career, too making Stage 3 at last year's World Championship and racking up four wins and eight podiums so far in Season 6. He currently finds himself in the top ten in points and is currently in a world's qualifying position in New England. Now, I don't want to discount Nolan LaJoy's gauntlet. It was probably my favorite of the gauntlets that didn't advance. He just happened to run into a buzzsaw in Kayla Bergstrom, who unfortunately, like you said, had to drop out. And he's running into another buzzsaw in True Becker. I'm just going to say it. Yeah, we're, we're not making it easy for Nolan this tournament, it feels <laughs> like. We're just, like, he had, I would say, some of the hardest matchups so far this tournament. And if he moves on to the finals, he's going to earn it, definitely. It's going to take somebody pulling a rabbit out of the hat to win this matchup because we know what both of these athletes are capable of. They are crazy strong we could have easily made this a three four minute gauntlet and they would have still given us something entertaining indeed well let's see what our athletes have been up to these past few weeks starting with true becker what's up i'm true becker and this is my round two grip gauntlet for the nnl pro tournament now knowing that nolan is probably going to vitality true mixing it up and using his backyard setup and he's caught wow. some nunchucks a link to nunchucks a link to a special Whoa. delivery oh that's a small slot too holy cow I, wow man i'm surprised so many that... links we can't even keep up wow yeah this this is a good looking backyard course and now he's looking at a bowl of strike through this field catching the jug where is he going next to a cliffhanger perhaps a crazy cliffhanger jump oh where's he going oh Whoa. wow a preloaded whoa that was impressive this is a this is an impressive setup i gotta say and, and going whoa. up i can't tell what he caught up there it is a cliffhanger legend <laughs> back down to a link wow. and an up transfer I just want to point out just how big of a gap that was from this from the salmon ladder to the cliffhanger. How high he had to go for that lache. Very impressive. And I'd like to thank True Becker for giving us a moment to talk about all of the things that have happened so far. Salmon ladders, cliffhangers, yeah. preloads. Now we're on to floating monkey bars, and these are tough and taxing. Man, True Becker, it's like it's Thanksgiving right now, but he's just stuffing us full of obstacles. Knocking a. Uh, Cannonball, it looks like that was his touch point. And now he's going to go on to a big finish here, perhaps. He is running a little bit short on time, but first we have some he's claws. Oh, wow. Man, first he got some, we got some turkey, some stuffing, and now some lobster. Really a feast here by True, as he's yeah. on to putting the claws onto that thick pipe. Perhaps going to make this transfer here. And Maybe. No. And, uh... He's got to do it quickly. Instead, he's no, going to bail out of it, use his remaining time, and dismount. 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 
Now, well, we've been criticizing a lot of these home gyms, but True really has a great home gym, and he stepped up to the plate and knocked it out of the park once again. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I feel like this was the best home gym we've seen so far this tournament. Judas had a, had a very impressive one, but True just took it to a whole new level, and that was impressive. Honestly, just that entire run was very impressive. And I think the big question, I mean, obviously, is going to be whether or not it's better than Nolan LaJoy's, but in my mind is, was it better than his first round? And I don't think it was. I mean, it was a great gauntlet, but he put the bar so high in round one that it seems almost expected that he's able to do these amazing feats. Wow. That's surprising coming from you, but... For me, I don't know. It's it's so hard to choose because it's there's such different locations. I think it's safe to say that you know, he had the biggest variety in locations between his first and second rounds. So, it's almost like comparing apples and oranges, but then again, that's kind of the whole nature of this tournament, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I I I think you're right. I see where you're coming from. So, another impressive performance by True Becker. We will see if Nolan this time is able to get the clean dub. I will never say that again. I'm leaving that. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Nolan LaJoy, and this is my grip gauntlet for the second round of the NL Pro Tournament. And as expected, Nolan LaJoy at Vitality. Let's see if he can make the most of his second chance. Getting us started with a flying bar, immediately into a lightning bolt, and the Superman, Ooh. and he's on the angle ladder. We saw this a week ago. Going down. With Addy Herman, and now, is he gonna do? He's gonna do it right Ooh. off. A nunchuck salmon ladder into a cliffhanger. This is incredible. Wow. He is making the most of his second chance at this tournament. That was a pull up. Wow. Vertical limit, it's Lachey. Good grief. Ooh. Now on to some ropes so we can catch our breath. Wow. This matchup has been insane. Wow, we're we're getting so much variety from both ninjas in this course. And now we're going to get a wing ding. Let's see where he goes. and It's flops. up to a wing ding. Wow. That, that is a, tricky. That is quite the distance he had to bridge there. Just onto a bar. That's okay. Still hard. Going to shake out, and he needs it. I'm, I'm guessing we're about to see a Lachey here. Well, he's at no. about a minute left. He can. Oh, there's only one way to go, and that's forward. And he nails Let's it. Let's go, dude. And now he's got... Well, he's got the big cannonballs that are usually for the peg ball. Or, yeah, for the pegs. He's not going to use the pegs. Instead, he's going to go for the doorknobs. There we go. Looks like he's going to use those doorknobs to transition to whatever he has next. And that is a bar for now, but I'm sure we're going somewhere. Oh, I see nunchucks. I Let's see nunchucks that are very high up. Let's see if he uses those. No. <laughs> well, I guess that was for nothing. We hey, got, no, got excited. <laughs> yeah. Or perhaps he bailed out of it. Yeah, that's, see, that's the challenge, you know? Do he, something it's, it's hard cool. to tell where they're going sometimes. He's going to hang. finish for Alex. And do some pull-ups. I mean, this is what, Alex this is what we tell them, them to do when they have time. Yeah. Nolan LaJoy knew what he needed to do to beat True Becker, and for a minute and 50 seconds, he did that. Yeah, you got a little shout-out at the end there, Alex. <laughs> did the little pull-ups at the end, you know, a little bit of flair. You know, he had a little extra time on the clock. Got to show you still got some more muscle in the tank. So I like the I like the finish there, although I got to say, just on a, on a personal level, uh, Vitality might want to replace that salmon ladder bar. It was looking a little sus, if you ask me. Yeah, there there are certainly some uh, some sketchy salmon ladders among us in the ninja community, but he did a lot of really exciting bar moves. And what I was realizing during that gauntlet is that other than salmon ladders, we really haven't had much bar movement in this tournament. That's the first lightning bolt we've seen. I'm trying to think if we had a flying bar in round one. We certainly haven't had one in round two. Uh, well, actually, it's ironic that Caleb had a flying bar. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, maybe, that's, maybe that's where he got it from. 
Nolan picking up the uh, Infinity Gauntlet, even in defeat. There you go. Well, these were two impressive gauntlets, to be sure. And I'm going to have a tough time deciding. But we're going to make these two gentlemen decide. They are Lucio Batista and Henry Ferrarin, letting you know who they thought won this matchup before you make your decision. Will, please moderate for us between these two gentlemen. Thank you, Alex. All right, gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. Let's get started on this semifinal matchup, shall we? We're going to start this discussion with Lucio this time around, and we're going to first focus on True's run. So, obviously, I would say the biggest point of discussion that you notice is that he went from competing in a ninja gym in his first round to a home gym at for a second round. How do you feel the change either improved or hindered his gauntlet? Well, I personally don't think it hindered him. Uh, an athlete of his caliber shouldn't really necessarily be hindered by something like that, it, it, especially considering the, the course he had had a lot of really good things set up on it. So I guess maybe it could hinder you if you have not that much going on. But the course he was on was was really solid. So he had a lot of options and still had plenty of variety and grip. He hung for the full two minutes, um, still gave us a lot of static, a lot of dynamic. There was some really technical stuff still there. So um, it was great all around. I mean, still to me, wasn't at the level of that first video, which was like absolute wow factor. But I mean, we're human and we can only do so much and it's, it's hard to base one video off the other, but that was still an impressive run. Um, all right. Thank you. Uh, moving on to Henry now. Um, so I would say true, like Lucio alluded to, put out a, a big variety of obstacles, for, especially for a home gym. Do you think that if he were to move on to the finals, he would have to move to a different location? Or could he pull this off at this location again? I mean, True just made me a believer that you can win a, well, possibly win a grip gauntlet from a home, a backyard course. He has the best backyard course that I've seen for all the gauntlets, so for all of these uh, grip gauntlets so far. Um, and like you said, Variety, uh, so impressed. Um, he starts through with these, these giant links through, through uh, vertical grips. And then I love the, uh, the preloaded T ledge that he kind of just swung through to the next obstacle. And then when I'm usually what, like when I watch these things, I'm just like, all right, where, where am I pumped out? Okay. I'm pumped out at about a minute 15 or a minute 20 when he, when he started going to the, to the claws and he's still making big moves. Um, I'm already done. Like I, I'd fall to the ground, a splash in the water, but, uh, this dude has a gas tank. Um, very impressive. I, I really, really like this run. Um, and I actually, I like that it was, that it was at his home course or an, an outdoor course. Um, yeah, really impressed. Don't forget the bowling bo uh, the bowling pins. Those. Oh yeah, the one the lock the lock off through the bowling pins. Thank you, thank you. Well, absolutely, very impressive. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to Nolan's run. Uh, we're going to stick with Henry for this one. So Nolan uh, had the benefit of getting back into the tournament. Unfortunately, Caleb uh, Bergstrom had to drop out. Uh, do you think? that Nolan made the best of his second opportunity. I I think so. I liked I liked this this gauntlet. I mean Nolan is a is an amazing, amazing athlete. Um those uh yeah, those vitality kids, they are uh, super strong. I'm really impressed um with his run. Um I really liked the diversity he had in it as well, like the different styles of grips and movements. Um, I liked how he had, oh, I liked the awesome vertical limit, uh, throw. It so was on the vertical limit, makes a giant throw to it looked like a really small cliff, like a sideways cliffhanger. And then I really liked the vertical grip, like the nunchuck, um, salmon ladder, uh, transfer. And then, um, and then you kind of, he kind of keeps going and keeps going and keeps going impressive moves. And you kind of see him definitely gas out, very, very gassed out at the end. And then a little, little fun shout out. Cause he, he starts repping out a couple pulls. I think he shouted out Alex, which I thought was some, some style points, but uh, I was very impressed with his run as well. Yeah, this, this is going to be a tough one, but moving on to, to Lucio, I, I have a question for you. 
uh, which is if uh, Nolan was to move on to the next round, because Vitality is by far the m- most popular gym of this tournament, what do you think Nolan needs to pull out in order to win in the finals if he reaches it? Well, I don't think he actually would need to go anywhere else, so to speak. I mean, that's it's convenient for him to be at that gym. Um, but he he's just really he's a strong ninja. Uh, he does like this video. It showcased technique. A lot of the technical from the beginning. I mean, he was doing things like flying bar into lightning bolts into a declining angled salmon ladder into, a, you know, the, the technical difficulties all there. I mean, he's doing things that are really immensely impressive um, with a high level of failure rate, uh, making them look easy. And, you know, like Henry had mentioned, like those other throws, those difficult catching moves, all, all that stuff. I, I honestly, it's hard to say what he could potentially do more. Um, just keep showing us that at, at a high level and try to maybe speed it up and pack as many mo- things as you can into that same two minutes. That's really the only critique I can give there in that regard. But I don't think he would need to actually change locations or anything like that to really make it that much more impressive. All right. So as we have discussed, and I think we have made very clear, these are two very good runs, and it's going to be an extremely tough decision. But unfortunately for you two, it is your job to make that decision. We're going to start with Henry this time around. I need your answer. Who? should move on to the finals in your opinion should it be true or should it be nolan i'm all like stressed out with this <laughs> and the reason why is because um both these athletes are are extremely strong they're both amazing ninjas um would put me to shame on any kind of any kind of course oh man all right let's let's just let me just do it um and and i'm just letting you know this is like 51% to 49% i'm I, what, what did it for me, Nolan had a, another amazing run. Both his, both his videos were amazing. The only reason Caleb just did some crazy stuff, like insane, like linked everything through the entire two minutes, but that's here and there. Um, amazing run. I'm going to go with true. I, I liked, I'm psyched for that outdoor course. Basically I'm psyched that finally someone did an outdoor course and got it right. Um, I think we had like three other, two other outdoor courses and it was just like, it was three. Not so, not so amazing. Uh, all up to Judas, though. He looked, he looked a little bit out of shape. Um, but True gets the W by very, very small margin. I still love both those boys. I'm so sorry, uh, Nolan. I give it to True by a little bit. All right, Lucio. I saw you sweating there before you, before uh, you know. I, I asked you, but uh, I got, I need an answer, man. Who, who's your pick? I'm not answering this. Oh. <laughs> All right, hey, no, you get back here. You answer this question right, right well, now. It's that before close. I answer this question, I just have to say, both of you, absolute monsters, monsters. You guys are impressive, like crazy. All right, Henry said it's fifty-one to forty-nine. It's like it's even closer. We're talking about like absolute like hundredths of a decimal place here. Like I don't even want to answer this because it's so ridiculous. But like, I, I mean. Henry, Henry's right. I, I, I have to say it's true on this one. I, my thing was when he, he hit that special delivery and that's been like a big, big thing lately. Like people are loving the special delivery, big shout out to Brett Sims, but like, can you see like the slot that he hit his fingers in? That thing was like literally a fingertip of like where his fingers went in, like how technical that is mind blowing. Just that one move. That's it. That's how I'm deciding it was that because I don't know what else to say. So true. Wow. So there you go. You got this one's on you. Please take this off our chest. Please. We don't want to do this one. This (laughs) This is disgusting. This is too close. Well, uh, I know it wasn't easy, but thank you gentlemen for your input. Oh boy. So there you have it, folks. It was a very tough decision for our analysts, but both of them narrowly went with true Becker for their pick to move on to the final round. But at the end of the day, there are only two guys. There's a lot more of you out there. You have the power and the ability to cast your vote and decide who will fill the final spot 
in the finals for the NNL Pro Tournament. Please, please, please do us all a favor. Click the link in the description down below. Go to the poll. Cast your vote. Let your voice be heard and be proud of your accomplishments. For the second time in this tournament, both Lucio and Henry have gone against Nolan. And for the second time in this tournament, I disagree with them. I'm, I'm just going to say, I'm going to back away. I'm sorry, True. You had a great gauntlet. But it also doesn't matter because I don't get a vote. So this is going to be a close one. Make sure you vote within the next three days. That's all you get. And good luck trying to decide between these two. But one of them has to move on. And only one of them will be in the finals of the pro tournament. Those are coming up right around the corner, so make sure you stick around to this YouTube channel. And we have Worlds coming up, too, on this YouTube channel, so make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell. Until then, for William Marchese, I'm Alex Cunningham, and we will see you for the finals of the NNL Pro Tournament.